perverts who run the European Union other than robbing the Treasury blind and having sex with children as young as infants in hidden locations. Do they have a strategy, those perverts and degenerates? They hate themselves, they hate their own country, and so what is their strategy? They have no strategy other than to, to, to fool the people all of the time. So what is the grand strategy of the Muslims that they are flooding into Europe? It's all explained in Government Zero, my book which will be out next Tuesday, the 27th, and I'm asking you to mark your calendar because I'm counting on you. This is my last shot at trying to save this country. I don't need a new house. I have all the houses I could ever want. I don't need a new car. I have all the new cars I ever wanted. I don't need anything financially. I need you to wake up before this country is gone. If you permit the drug addicts who run television, if you permit the drug addicts who hoodwink you with medication, both legal and illegal, to put you to sleep, you will not wake up in America. You'll wake up as a prisoner in your own country. What is Hijra? H-I-J-R-A-H. -H. Read Government Zero. Buy two copies, one for a neighbor, one for a friend, one for a husband, one for a wife, one for someone who was as ignorant as Larry David, a snide synagogue jester. Larry David and his friends were the type that we knew when we were kids. They were sort of pre-adolescent mockers. They mocked everybody and everything. And they got very far with it. There was a word for them, which I can't use on the radio. They were known as synagogue jesters. They stood in the back and they mocked the rabbi. They mocked God. They mocked the traditions of their own people. They mocked everything and everybody. Then they turned it on the Christians. They mocked any Christian. They mocked the church. They mocked the collar. They mocked the father. They mocked the mother. They mocked everything in the world. And they made billions of dollars. And people laugh. And while they do this and they melt the society down with their with their, I, I don't know what the word is, shall I say cynicism, juvenile cynicism at that, the Islamists are seeing this for what it is, which is utter weakness. So what is Hijra? H-I-J-R-A-H. Read about it in Government Zero. I have a whole chapter on it. No borders, no language, no culture. But what is Hijra? You need Government Zero to read that? You can figure it out. It means moving to a new land in order to bring Islam there and it is considered in Islam to be a holy and revered action. I'll read it to you in case you think I'm making it up. And you won't hear this on Sunday Night Live. And whoever emigrates for the cause of Allah will find on the earth many locations and abundance. And whoever leaves his home as an emigrant to Allah and his messenger and then death overtakes him, his reward has already become incumbent upon Allah for 100. What does this mean? It means if a Muslim dies in his emigration... In the process, it's the same as being a suicide bomber. His reward is automatic by spreading Islam. And that's why many of them take on this perilous journey. They're on the same mission as the jihadists. Whether or not they actually set off a vest doesn't matter. If you look at the history of Islam, which I spell out in great detail in Government Zero, something you won't hear about on Saturday Night Live or any of the television shows, you won't hear about it on Fox News, where I am banished. You won't even hear these words very soon in America. What I am reading to you right now will soon be banned in America by the vermin who are destroying this country. The evil Soviet forces that are destroying the men of Europe and destroying the men of America will soon make a broadcast like the one you are hearing illegal and I will be arrested for it. The truth will become the greatest threat against the gangsters who have taken control of these nations. The gangster and criminal gangs who are raping and pillaging their way across this nation and across Europe. Insider contracts, false solar contracts, false highway contracts, uh, fraudulent and false bridge building contracts. Do you think it's being done for any reason other than to pillage the treasury? Read all about it. It's in government zero. And while they're doing this, and by the way, that's called corruption. It's called the degeneracy of a nation. While this corruption occurs, the Islamists are on the march. They see it for what it is. There's a statement that you may have learned in high school if you weren't laughing at everybody. And it was taught like this. It said, nature abhors a vacuum. America is a vacuum right now. There's no soul. There's no spirit. What has replaced God is emptiness. It's the same in Europe. The churches are empty. The people have no soul. There's no center to them. 
Nature abhors a vacuum. Read all about it. Government Zero coming soon to a bookstore near you. There's an awful lot of news out there. The bigger topic is this. It's the surge of Muslims into Europe and the United States of America. The migrant influx threatens to drown the world and drag us into a thousand years of dar darkness. I stand by these words. I know that they're considered, well, a little controversial in America today to talk about borders, language, and culture. I guess it's controversial to stand up for your country if you're not Bernie Sanders or Larry David. Countries that gave these lowlifes everything they enjoy that they hate so much. And I ask this. You see millions of Muslims are coming out of the Middle East, pretending to be refugees. Many of them, as you know, are ISIS members. Why would any country in the world accept Islamic migrants and commit suicide? I'll give you an example. Let's go to Lebanon. Lebanon was once a prosperous, predominantly Christian nation only 75 years ago. Did you know that it was called the Paris of the Mideast? It was a popular holiday spot. It was a commercial and banking center compared to Switzerland, Lebanon. Then what happened? Around 1950, Lebanon took in Islamic refugees from where? Syria and other war-torn areas. Once the PLO was defeated in Jordan, in the Black September Massacre by Jordanian military in 1970, by the way, many Palestinian militants fled where? To Lebanon. And what did this produce? This led to increasing sectarian violence between Palestinians and the Maronites, the Lebanese Christians and other Lebanese factions. And what is Lebanon today as a result of the Muslim invasion? It's hell on earth. A civil war among Christians, Sunnis and Shiites that began in 1975 and raged to 1990 still goes on today. In one decade from now, 10 years from now, Germany, as you know it, will no longer be existent. In 10 years from now, the United Kingdom under those... I, I have a word that I can't use. It's a family show. Those sellouts, those quizzlings, those vermin who pretend to be leaders, those rats! Those rats. Those rats who run the West. There will be no UK, no Germany, and no Sweden. You will see something that you'll never believe if you live another 10 years. Here is my prediction. Wait until the Muslims gain a majority through their multiple breeding. Wait until the Muslims gain a majority and gain control of the military. Then you look back and say, who was that who was trying to warn us? Was it Saturday Night Live with their snide, pot-fueled garbage? Was it all the snide Brooklyn vermin like Larry David? Now, what you don't understand is that the entertainment community is brilliant, powerful, all-pervasive, and in another time when this nation was faced by fascism, they used all of their powers to ridicule the enemy. And here, this very same entertainment complex ridicules not the enemy itself, but the American people. Ridicules Christians, Jews, Republicans, gun owners, those who have some care about the unborn, all ridiculed by this entertainment complex. If the same entertainment complex were to ridicule ISIS, radical Islam, then we'd have a great ally in this battle of battles, this battle for the survival of civilization as you know it. But no one's ever articulated what I just said. In those few sentences, I have defined what is missing in this battle against radical Islam. No one has done it. Nobody has done it. No one. No one has done what I just did in those few sentences. How the entertainment complex once fought fascism and must fight fascism again. Now, I spell it all out in my great plan for saving America in government zero. No borders, no language, no culture. When I talk about how the gangsters and burglars who've broken the doors off our borders must be stopped at all costs, I'll be right back. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. The Savage Nation is sponsored by Swiss America, the only company I trust with my financial future. Call 800-289-2646 or SwissAmerica.com. Which is about how the entertainment industry was once used, and very effectively at that, to fight Hitler, to fight Tojo, and help win the war. 
In other words, they demonize the enemy. I studied the propaganda of World War II. There have been whole books written about it. If you take the time to study it, you can Google it probably, find it. You'll see that the Germans were uh, drawn in a certain way to make them ugly. The Japanese were made with buck teeth to make them ugly. They were demonized. Well, you say, well, that's, that's repugnant. Yeah, well, through our eyes, it's repugnant. But through the eyes of people fighting fascists, it was war. Now, the enemy uses propaganda to create pictures of Jews, for example. Have you seen any of the ugly pictures of Jews painted by Arabs in, in the Palestinian territories? Have you seen any of that? Haven't seen that? Hasn't made it to your local newspaper? Uh, have you seen any of the propaganda against Americans being promulgated around the world? So they're, they're engaging propaganda. They're painting you as oafs and idiots, drug addicts, sex addicts, and eliminating all of the hardcore of this country. And so what I'm saying is simple. It's not that complicated. Make believe we're just talking here. It's very simple. I'd like to see movies that show the Islamo-fascists for the vermin that they are. I want to see one movie showing them raiding a village, a Yazidi village, and killing the husband, but before they kill him, make him watch them rape his wife and his daughters and then take his daughters away in slavery and then kill the man. I'd like to see reality shown once to put the fear of God into the idiots in this country before they themselves wind up on the chopping block. Write that down. Did that shock you? Did you get a, a, did you get a feeling from what I just said? Did those words go through you like bullets? Well, let me tell you something. Get ready for the machine gunning of this show. I got a 50 cal in my hands, and I'm not going to stop firing the bullets today. It's the end of the road. When I see the massive influx into Europe, and I see Hussein in the White House, I see Merkel in Germany, I see Cameron in England, I realize that there's no one who could save the, the West other than the people themselves. These are useless or collaborators. There's no other word. Either they're useless idiots or collaborators with the very enemy that would destroy our civilization. Write that down. And don't talk to me about Bernie Sanders' underwear and tell me how good the imitation was by, by Larry the synagogue jester. I know how clever these boys are. I grew up with them. They laughed their way to the billionaires circle by mocking everything decent in this country. First they mocked their own rabbi. Then they mocked the temple. Then they mocked their mother. Then they mocked their father. Then they mocked the nation. Then they mocked Boy Scouts. Then they mocked Christians. Then they mocked the family. You think I don't know who they are? The, the audience can never get enough of it. You can feed people swill and they will eat it. Because it tastes good. You just keep shoveling swill at them and they'll eat it. You don't want to give them healthy food because they don't like it. So if you're in the business of shoveling swill and the pigs eat it, you'll get very wealthy indeed. That's how Katzenberg, Katzenberg, Matzenberg, Ratzenberg, and others have become engorged on money and wealth and power. And that's why they can spend their later years chasing men, chasing women, whatever they want to do. and